Popping on for a quick second to share some winter bundling without the bulk tips. So here's the funny thing is I've worn this blazer a couple different ways. First, my go-to was to wear this tweed kind of Chanel inspired blazer with jeans, which that's pretty basic. It does have a matching skirt, but I was like, why not snazz it up a little bit? So I'm going to de-layer and deconstruct today's outfit so that way you can see some hacks for bundling without extra bulk. So clearly my outfit right now, I've got a few layers on and then earlier today I even had this winter coat because it's it's chilly outside. I don't know if you can hear, but there's wind howling outside. So let me deconstruct this for a moment so you can kind of get the behind the scenes. I decided to mix some textures. Obviously this is kind of a tweed, like I said, Chanel inspired. I think it's the brand Lioness. So I did, well, I knew I wanted a, a base layer, so I have a cami on underneath. I always layer with camis. Then I wanted to add some warmth to my legs. So I've got a little printed dotted nylon here, just to give my legs a little layer in those chilly months. And then I didn't have to shave my legs. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, from there, I've got my base on, I have my tights on, I have my cami on. I knew I wanted to add a pop of red somewhere with the skirt. I thought about adding, I've, I've worn this skirt with a bow blouse that matches the same like kind of organza material. And I thought about adding that underneath my sweater and having the bow. But when I knew I wanted to add the blazer, I was like, oh, that's gonna be too many things to, to put on my body. So I went into my closet and I found just a little hint of red with, and it's not quite pulling up right now. I had it up earlier. And it's this little eyelash lace top. So it just kind of peeked out a little bit a little pop of color so I could have done even a collared shirt underneath but I wanted to do the lace Valentine's Day is coming up so why not embrace a little black and red action here and then I said I mixed some textures by adding my black fuzzy kind of eyelash sweater this is just a basic from Zara and it's kind of a crop length which was perfect for adding with the skirt tucked everything in actually if you were to peek underneath my skirt they, it would show you that my layers are tucked into my Spanx, essentially. It's not Spanx, but my tights. Keeps everything streamlined. So that is tip number one. It's like use hosiery shapewear strategically. Use it to add the layers and tuck them in. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody can see underneath that I have my cami and my shirt tucked into my hosiery. Nobody can tell. Okay, so that's first tip. And then second tip is kind of a little styling hack. It's been around for centuries. Clearly I didn't make it up. And this is what I did today was I took my blazer and all day at a women's conference today, rather than put it actually through my arms and create extra bulk, which I, I could have worn my sleeves all the way through, but I decided to kind of layer it like this. And what this does is it creates a little layer of warmth. You still have movement of your arms. You can still move at ease. If you have a little bit of self-consciousness about maybe your underarms, this is a great way to add an extra piece without adding too much heat. I know I can typically overheat quite a bit, so I wanted to just have that extra pop of color, that one extra layer, but then that way I still have the ease and movement of my arms. Like I said, you could put your arms through the blazer or the jacket that you have on top, but that doing that like kind of, I don't know, I always think of James Dean, like throwing a coat on over words without your arms through, just kind of gives it a little bit of a pizzazz and flair. And then too, if you get hot, you can easily just pop it off. There you go. So that was tip number two is add that extra layer, but don't put your arms through if you don't want to. And 
if you wanted to add one more layer, so this is what I did when I was actually walking to and from my car inside the building. So here I do actually want to have the jacket on. Now I also could have removed the belt. This is another little way to layer. And I could have done a belt on top of the jacket. I decided not to just because I didn't want to have that extra bulk. This one doesn't quite work as well. If this button would have buttoned on top, I could have done it here. I decided not to. So let me just show you one extra little thing that I did. So when I was walking to and from the car to the building, it was howling like crazy and actually kind of raining. So I threw on my jacket one last way like this. So then I had the blazer fully through my arms or sleeves. One more layer on top and then I could carry my bag and not feel bulked down. And then two, if you wanted to add your, your ladylike bag or your, your tote, you have your hands free. I used a little hands free bag. So that way when I was at the X, it wasn't an expo conference. I had my hands free. I could easily reach in and grab business cards, you know, all the things. And when I was at the event, I lost this layer. Apparently I like to make noises with my videos. So I lost that layer because it was chilly out. And then I actually had this on crossbody when I was walking around talking to people, had this open. So then that way I could easily grab out of my bag business cards or my phone to exchange contact information, do a little selfie action while we were there. So I hope that helps you layer without the bulk. So for more videos like this, be sure to check out both my YouTube channel, my Facebook, my Instagram, and as a little freebie bonus for you, if you click the link in my bio, I have a free ultimate wardrobe checklist. I break down all the components in a closet from each category and give you the basics. So you can find out whether or not you have missing holes in your closet, or if you have a category that's more filled than another one, see where the missing pieces might be so that you can build that foundational wardrobe and just have timeless style. And it's like, I'm right there in your closet with you doing a closet cleanse. So check out that little freebie. It's in my links and I hope to see you around. Stick around. I'm Deidre, Stab by Deidre with style, strength, and grace. Mwah.